have you heard anybody with 11 CCA? I think that was my way of not staying at home because home is so dysfunctional. Hello, my name is Irene Ang and I'm the founder CEO of Fly Entertainment Private Limited. Strangely, when I was young, it was more about surviving. It was more on the ability to have books. Still remember, I don't have money to pay for my O level. My dad said he would come home on Sunday, but he didn't come home. And I had to borrow from my, my classmates. Like, to 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 then wow, not enough $10. My friend gave me the ATM card, run to the Ultraman MRT to draw the money and then come back. So those are, those, those are very fond memories of mine where I remember these things to always ground myself. You know, I make sure I remember where I come from and I think that's very important. I don't think when I was young, I was un unhappy. I think I was quite happy in my own way. As I grew older, I became more resentful, like why my parents are not here, why can't I have this? But to solve that, I work very hard during school holiday and I make sure that I don't look for those uh, McDonald's, waitress job, 190. That was not 190, okay, only per hour. Uh, so I, I went to teach swimming uh, and I get paid $15 an hour. So I, as a young kid, I was quite enterprising, so I know how to count. Although I failed mathematics in school, but when it comes to money, uh, I somehow my max is very good, you know. Teach three hours of swimming is $45. Then on like June, holiday, I will go and do sales promoter. And my salary for that month can be 1006 to 2000 That's when I learned that commission-based is my kind of job. Because how hard you work, you get the commission different from others. No? Uh, in my situation, there were a lot of good people. I met Gui Ren, so to speak, a baller, that, that helped me along the way at different stages of my life. And so I choose to focus on the positive than the negative because I can't control what happened in my life or what the situation is. Because last time when I was young, I was daddy's girl. So my mother always used me as the trump card against my dad, uh, trying to kidnap me or make me disappear to scare him. Obviously, he also don't care because he also come home drunk. One drunk, one drug out like that. Lah. But my mother's drug is, is quite open. She then went on to quit and she got some yellow ribbon certificate for 10 years of clean, cleaning up and all that. And she now works in my FMB outlet. My mother, when she's high on drugs, will beat me and, and, and there will be no food and I would just have to figure it out. So from young, young time, I figure out how to, how to survive. During my second year in A-level, I had 11 ECA. Have you heard anybody with 11 CCA? I think that was my way of not staying at home because home is so dysfunctional. So yes, it's very hard to forgive. So you have to pray so hard and ask for strength and ask for a spirit of forgiveness. After school, when I started working, I think bosses, i very fortunate somehow. At one point when I became an actress, I was I was at a crossroad, like because I'm acting and I'm also still doing my insurance. I went to him and I said, I, I, I'm stuck because I feel that there's so much thing in the entertainment industry that I can change. There's two ways to leave and then go back to insurance and then just do acting part-time or to leave insurance and go acting and give my everything to this industry. And I went to him and, and he told me this, this is passion. You couldn't stop complaining about this industry. Uh, you couldn't start thinking of ideas to improve the people and the way it's done. Over the last 20 years, I'm proud to say Fly has created many milestones, created many new contracts, challenged the status quo of how things are done. I myself playing with all the big boys, literally I'm the only girl. But it's just that my boss gave me the permission, he said, I can see you have so much passion, you have so much dreams about going out there and chong and, and want to set up the first actors agency in Singapore. He said, you might fail, who knows, but you, you just give it your best shot lo, for three years. Lo. I always have a backup plan, so plan A, plan B. So my plan B was to go back to insurance. So I just gave everything I have to build and lo and behold, we are 21 now. You know, We are adults now. To me, the human value, the human heart, uh, because my, this line, uh, a lot of fakeness, uh, you know. So if you don't make a conscientious effort to be real in your own little circle with your friend, right, you will get very depressed and you're very, very lost, you know. And I've been there. So people who work with me are always encouraged to be real and to be crazy. Because I'm like that. So if you are a leader, you take the lead. People say, oh, what is a Kailan? Uh, I went through this period of 
the image I should have, the branding that I should have, being Asian television best actress, being being Channel Five star, and all this. But I'm, it's not me. I mean, so I made a decision, oh, to be me, oh. Wow, it was such a, like a relief, you know, to become the person I am today. First thing first, be true to yourself, and and if you fail. It's okay. Everybody failed. No one that is that is worldwide, globally successful has never failed before. Because failure is very exciting and very interesting, and you must remember your failures. But you mustn't let it be your baggage. Remember the lessons. Move on. Oh, huh? so I've learned about moving on. I've learned how to bounce back. I've learned about grit. And each time I fall, I get up faster now. So the more you fail, the better you are at bouncing back. So go forth and fail, my friends. <laughs> But remember the lessons. <laughs>